welcome back to my channel today i am going to be cooking for you um we are going to be doing salmon and cauliflower mashed potatoes today this is going to cover all of our bases in our house uh justin does the keto diet and i of course can't have any red meat because i have alpha gal so if you have alpha gal or you are doing keto this is going to be for you so we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 400 degrees and i'm going to start chopping up the cauliflower if you're new here i am sandy i do lots of cooking cleaning uh, day in the life all kinds of just mommy everyday things i am a mom of three a five-year-old, a 20-month-old, and a two-month-old. I would love to have you subscribe, and if you have any questions, please link them down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. So right here, all I'm gonna do is chop up the cauliflower. You can leave it in the big chunks, it really doesn't matter, and take the little leaves out. I'm going to go ahead and just scrape all the rest of that into the bowl that I'm putting everything in and I'm going to go rinse it all out. Um, you'll see right here that I am using Kerrygold butter. I really like that because it's real butter and I use the salted. I do have alpha gal but I can have dairy products so you will see me use butter and of course butter is great for the keto diet. So I'm going to go ahead and stick all of the cauliflower into the water and go ahead and get that boiling. Alright, now we are going to go ahead and start making our salmon. Um, I am going to sprinkle some olive oil on top of it and just kind of rub that in. One thing that I did not show was that I like to take the scaly skin side off of it. I know a lot of people like to cook with it on there and you're more than welcome to do that. I just prefer not to have it. When you have little kids, it's kind of hard to let them understand to take that off. There's Sutton, she's saying hi. Next, I'm going to sprinkle some lemon pepper on top of it, and I am quite generous with that. And after that, then I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of regular pepper on top of it. We have a good boil on our cauliflower, so I'm gonna let that just go ahead and boil for about 20 minutes. And you'll see that I'm gonna set the timer for about 20 minutes to check that salmon as well. My kids absolutely love cheese. So Sutton actually just right here, she came and got me and asked for a piece of cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her one. And of course, if one has something, the other has to have it too. So we're gonna get another piece of cheese. And you'll probably notice this is not like super expensive cheese. This is just regular old Kraft American cheese. For some reason or other, they love these singles. I'm gonna go ahead and check on the salmon. The timer just went off and see how it does. It looks like it needs about another 10 minutes or so right here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and take the cauliflower off and go ahead and drain that. Thank you. 
All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and move that into our Ninja after I drain it. You can use a food processor or you can use a blender, whatever you like to use. After that, I'm going to just go ahead and stick a little bit more butter in there. And I'm also going to use almond milk. I know that almond milk is safe for keto and it's also safe for alpha gal. After you get it to the consistency that you like, I like to go ahead and just take it out and put it back into the same bowl that I used earlier when I was chopping it up. I just rinsed it out a little bit. Now that those extra 10 minutes are up, I'm going to go ahead and pull the salmon out. It looks beautiful. And I'm also going to go ahead and, of course, stir in some more butter into that mashed potatoes. And I'm also going to load it pretty heavily with salt and pepper. I normally use pink Himalayan salt. However, I'm out right now, so I just used regular table salt. Alright guys, that's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoy your salmon and your cauliflower mashed potatoes. We really like ours creamy. And I'm going to go ahead and make some macaroni and cheese just for the kids to have a little something extra. And we're going to sit down, pray, and have a meal as a family. If you guys have not already done so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you. Again, I do cooking, cleaning, mommy videos, all kinds of tips and tricks. So again, I'd love to have you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.